So today I want to talk about semantic segmentation, specifically how to compare different models that you may have in your semantic segmentation problem. So semantic segmentation is uh, an algorithm that takes some image and produces some labels. Uh, specifically the input is an image in the standard uh, dimensional tensor, height by width by three, uh, representing the RGB colors. The process is basically mapping each pixel, uh, the three colors to a specific classification pixel. So the output will be just height time width with a single channel. What you're trying to do in semantic segmentation is to assign a specific class to every pixel in the image. So there is no sort of uh, object detection. You're simply classify, classifying pixels. The classes can be anything from some objects that you want to use or identify um, humans, faces, or it could also be roads, could also be fruits, like in this case, background, foreground, anything that you may be interested in uh, identifying. So yeah, the purpose is basically to uh, identify classes so that you can then um, make some decisions for control, for example, for driving, uh, whether you're driving on some drivable terrain or non-drivable terrain, um, or identifying whether there are certain defects in certain materials. What I'm interested in talking about is visualization, specifically when you have two models or three models that you trained, how do you tell which one is better, which one is worse? In addition to using losses and metrics like IOU, uh, you want to see the actual thing. You want to see, oh, is this thing better, is this thing worse? So specifically, we'll talk about three different things today. Confusion matrix, heat maps, label difference, and label improvement. So confusion matrix heat map is, is basically just visualization of a confusion matrix. On the left here of this matrix, you see the actual labels. Uh, and on the bottom, horizontally, you see predicted labels. So for example, here, uh, actual label of zero on the left and predicted label of zero on the bottom uh, indicates that this was correctly identified only 20% of the time. So let's uh, code this up. Uh, first, we need some actual data and predicted data. Let's just use zeros and ones. Uh, then we'll use the standard confusion matrix uh, function from sklearn and we'll plot our figure. So what uh, we're interested in is visual encoding of this uh, confusion matrix. On the diagonal, we'll have uh, different shades of red and on non-diagonal, we'll have different shades of red as well, but the meaning will be different. So specifically on the diagonal of the matrix, the darker the, the red color, uh, the better, the more correct the classification is. So the darkest red uh, of one, for example, means uh, that all the instances of that class were classified correctly. Whereas on the non-diagonal, we'll have the darker the color, the more errors there are. So for example, if you see here on a class zero of actual label class zero, and predicted label of class one, we have 80% of misclassifications. This uh, visualization, this heat map visualization of this confusion matrix is great because it allows us to quickly identify issues with our uh, models. Let's look at the uh, top left cell and we notice that it's not solid red color. So it immediately tells us something is wrong. Uh, then we look where the other red color is on the row. So in this case, class zero, actual label, class one predicted label gives us 0 0.8, which means that class zero is often confused with class one. So this could be something like roads misclassified, the sidewalks or something. Uh, usually it's something that is similar in nature to some other class or something that maybe uh, is mislabeled by the labelers. So in this case, what we can do to correct this is we can uh, collect more data with, this, with these two classes to make it clear to the model which class is which. Uh, we can correct the, the ground truth labels 
either by sending the data back to the labelers or finding these instances ourselves or fixing us uh, fixing them or we can just fix uh, the loss function if uh, there's something wrong with it for example by assigning more weight to these problematic classes so now i want to talk about what i call label difference visualization and let's start on a pixel basis so this is a single pixel say single label pixel so in this case our ground truth label is just orange whatever class this may represent so let's say the prediction that our model output is also orange the classes match in this case we have green output in our visualization so this means that labels match now if the ground truth class was orange but the prediction class was this charcoal then clearly the prediction differs from ground truth and so we put the red color here in the visualization so there are two colors in this visualization green and red green means that the outputs match and red means that they differ so let's look at the cluster of pixels in this case the ground truth is the ground truth label is all orange so it's all single class and the prediction this has this checkerboard pattern where some classes are correct some classes are wrong so our visualization will also be this checkerboard pattern where the green will be green when both match so in this case whenever both ground truth and prediction is orange the visualization will be green but when prediction differs from ground truth the visualization will be red now let's look at some region of an image in this case we're looking at this emblem of a car specifically mercedes-benz emblem and our ground truth is here black where it's car and parts of the car and this um, purple where it's everything else now our prediction is is matching the ground truth pretty well except there is some fuzziness around the edges and the middle part uh, there is some gray area that's incorrectly classified and so you can see visualization here is identifying those areas in red which differ between these two labels now looking at the whole image we can see this car with the emblem at the bottom and there are some cars on the road here and the ground truth is labeled by humans for example is all these different classes that should be classified now our model semantic segmentation model perhaps outputs this prediction which is not very good this is a prematurely stopped model before it uh, had the chance to train very well this is just for the sake of example here and so you'll see lots of differences in red so for example you can see the fence on the left here is not classified correctly now let's talk about the next visualization this visualization is label improvement and this let's start with pixel based example so the ground truth label here is orange again and the base model what i call the base model or what is considered the base model is the first model you trained that you want to improve on so perhaps you you started with some loss function and you want to see if the new model that we have here improves over the base model so the new is the next model you're evaluating so in this case the new model matches the base model classification and so our visualization is blue meaning there is no change now let's say the the base model was wrong the base model didn't classify it very well before but now that you trained your new model it's actually doing better it's classifying things correctly so now it's the correct class the same as ground truth in this case the visualization is green and we call it an improvement now let's say the base model was correct it was classifying things correctly but the new model is misclassifying that pixel so in this case we have a degradation degradation we have the performance is worse than it was before and so we visualize it as red so let's take a cluster of pixels and here the ground truth is is, is all single class the base model has this checkerboard pattern where it was correct on two pixels and incorrect on the other two pixels 
Now let's say the new model displays these two stripes pattern where the left side uh, of this cluster is classified correctly and the right side is incorrectly classified. Well, visualization then shows us where the new model is better than the base model. You can see that it is better only in the lower left corner, whereas in the uh, top row, it's the same. There is no change. So there is an improvement on, on the bottom left pixel and there is a degradation on the lower right pixel versus the top being the same. Now let's look at region uh, of an image. So in this case, we're looking at the same logo, emblem of a car, and the ground truth is the same as we saw before. It should be black where the car is and purple everywhere else. So let's say the base model that we trained is not doing so good and it has this large blotchiness in the middle that's just wrong class. Now the new model is doing slightly better while still not perfect. So what does, what does our visualization tell us? Well, we can see that the green areas here are an improvement. Specifically, if you look at the middle, there is a big part there that's green. So that's that gray area that was incorrectly misclassified is now correctly classified. However, you can see there is some fuzziness on the right, right edge of the new model, and that's actually degradation. It's misclassifying the pixels that it was classifying uh, correctly before. And everything in the blue means that there was no change. Now let's look at the whole image for the label improvement visualization. It's the same image, image as before. We have the same ground truth as before. And our base model in this case is um, doing pretty bad, but it is labeling the purple area here, which is the road. And the new model is uh, slightly better, but it's not that obvious uh, where it is better. And so here we can see that all the green areas is where the new model is doing better than the old model. But at the same time, there are lots of red areas where it is doing worse. Uh, now let me show you the demo of these visualizations in a uh, software I created. I call it good model, bad model. And uh, this software is meant to just pre pretty much help you visualize the difference between these models using the visualization techniques I just described. So here we are. If we go to goodmodelbadmodel.com, you'll be able to see the software. And after you create an account and log in, you'll be able to see this data sets at the top. If you click on it, you'll be able to import a showcase data set, which just gives you a cityscapes 10 data set. In this case, it's just a cityscapes data set with 10 images only. And so let's go through the label difference visualization first. So for label difference, we need two different models to compare. So let's pick a bad model as model one and good model as model two. Bad model is just a model that's trained and stopped before it had a chance to achieve any good results. And good model is trained a bit more to produce better inferences. So if we cl click model difference, uh, it will compute uh, label difference visualizations. In this case, uh, this is called model difference because it's a difference between all the labels. So you can see here the bad model label and good model label. And on the left, you, sh you should see the label difference visualization. If you click on this image, then we'll see a label difference in a larger view. Again, the bad model is the first label here. And uh, you can see it's worse than this good model. Specifically, this car uh, emblem is not classified as well. And that's why you see the red here. So what this tells us is that the new model is better uh, in, or I shouldn't say better. There is some differences between uh, the good model and the bad model. This doesn't really tell us which one is better. It just tells us that there is a difference. And this is maybe useful for cases where you are training two models and you want to see which classes the two models are classifying differently. So now let's look at label improvement visualization. Same thing, we'll go to data sets, click on our data set. And here uh, we'll click on this button, view model improvement. So for model improvement, we'll need some 
model first model which is going to be treated as ground truth in this case we actually have ground truth labels the second model will be our base model something that we want to see whether it was improved upon so we'll pick the bad model as the base model and there's a new model we'll pick for model 3 the good model so once we click view model improvement you'll see all these uh, label improvement views and so in this case we have three labels the ground truth label the bad model label and the good model label and so if you kind of mouse over here the good model should be slightly better it's not perfect by any means but it should be better than the bad model and so if you look at visualization here you should be able to see hopefully that the new model is doing better in certain cases like this car emblem is classified more correctly and that's where the green areas are so green means that it's doing better and red is actually where it's doing worse so this is actually the view that you want to use if you want to check how the new model improved or um, degraded over the previous model okay now let's look at uh, confusion matrix heat map visualization if we'll click on data sets again and here let's compare a bad model and good model and once we do that and we click on the actual label difference image if we scroll down you should see a confusion matrix here and so what this confusion matrix tells us here is either the actual labels at the left and the top is the predicted classes and so you can see for example that um, in this case the 88 percent of road was correctly classified as road but in some cases road was misclassified or as unlabeled unlabeled is just a class here and that means it was not labeled by the annotator for example uh, another misclassification that can be seen here is building was misclass was also misclassified as unlabeled and also um, there is a, a misclassification here of a car as number seven which is a building so by looking at this confusion matrix you can see which uh, classes are strongly classified which are often misclassified so this was a demo of good model bad model and uh, hopefully you see how those visualization can come in handy for your uh, model development in making this software i hope to help some mles um, identify their issues and uh, it's still ongoing development process so i appreciate any feedback if you find any bugs please please file them on github thank you very much good luck